Adjusting to university life as a student is exciting but can also be challenging. Let's hear from some current University of Melbourne students about managing their mental health and well-being. So I had a lot of anxiety in first year and that was like your stereotypical like tightness, like, a, like feeling like a weight on my chest constantly, feeling anxious all the time and it was like every day, especially when it came to exams and swap back and stuff. Um, it was just really constant. And then when I got to second year, I felt like it was affecting my relationships with people. It's, if you've got, it's like if you've got a sprain, a mental health, at least in my, in my case, depression, has been like if you have a sprained ankle. And if you manage it, if you know it's there and you strap it before the game, you can play and you can have a very normal life. As long as you know your own limitations, because that's important. But it's when you ignore it and you pretend you haven't got a sprained ankle and you go out there and you run around as fast as you can and the next thing you know you're on the ground and you can't move. It's a bit dramatic, I know, but by recognising the fact that you have an illness, you can manage it and live the life you want to, but if you don't, you're going to crash and burn. It was very challenging in the beginning and that is something that has rested a little bit now that I'm in my last semester. Um, it just feels weird. You just feel a little bit displaced um, in the beginning where you, f you are detached from the people that offer you your primary source of support. And I think um, stabilising yourself in a new environment and becoming comfortable requires you to develop a new sense of support. And then from a more social perspective, what worked for me was, like I mentioned before, just throwing yourself in the deep end and trying to establish connections, trying to um, really bond with people over what um, interests we had in common. Uh, it becomes challenging to find time for life outside of studies. And as we all know, that's very, very important for mental health to be able to take time out and spend some quality me time, to be able to relax, meditate, go for a walk, listen to music or anything that, that you enjoyed. One of the wonderful things I did was um, starting week two or three last year, and then I did it again in the next semester, was to attend the free mindfulness workshops that are held in Bailiou Library in the, um, yeah, uh, on the ground floor. And that's run by a professional trained psychologist and that's a free service. Like you can walk in and it's in the middle of the day on a Wednesday, I remember. And it's very stressful classes and assignments and you take 45 minutes off to switch from, off from everything and just connect with yourself. Like if you're sitting on the fence about speaking to someone or even just like speaking to a friend, like just take that step. And I know it can feel really scary, but it's just so worthwhile and I think you know, we just really need to have these conversations more and let people know that it's okay to not be okay. The best way to handle the stress is to balance things. I heard a good saying the other day, was, uh, everything in moderation, even in moderation. I reckon it's, it's important sometimes to, to have a blowout and have some fun with your friends to make sure you get out in the sun. And I, I've so, sort of came to realize those things aren't distractions, those are actually essential components of, I don't know, success.